Hey everybody, um, I have a vintage chic scents haul that I got from her last ready to ship and just like some updates um, and so yeah I just wanted to go over what I got so I can put this stuff away because we all love to put our wax away. Um, so before I jump into the haul I know that vintage chic is more controversial than ever I would say. Um, I have a very sort of like contentious relationship with vintage chic scents contentious just sort of mixed where um or her wax is very hit or miss for me there's like stuff that I really love that she puts out but then there's also stuff that I've just like not been able to smell um and I've had to you know make adjustments like melted in smaller rooms or things like that and it usually also needs to sit which I have established that I am not the biggest fan of having to cure wax for a prolonged period of time did I think of any of that when I placed this order? No, everything just sounded like it smelled really good and I thought I would place an order because I probably had some Prosecco and that's what I do. I know that people are having sort of a moment because she said she was closing last year and had sort of like a year of like final sales and pushed people to larger sizes and then pretty quickly thereafter, a few months thereafter, she just decided to come back um, without much reason just sort of was like I miss doing it I was not like crazy into her when that happened and so I didn't do that big rush to buy but I can totally understand that that would feel very bait and switch um, especially considering that she is more expensive so this will probably be all the wax that I buy from her for a while um, one because it is really expensive and I'm a little unsure about the performance um but two just because like there's other vendors that I just are cheaper you know so I'm a big like never say never person like so <laughs> we'll see you know I could have a couple drinks and decide to buy from someone's pre-sale but I, I think I'm okay um this was a little bit of a spur of the moment decision so uh with all that being said uh I'm gonna go through what I got and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's coming up for ready ship pre-sale all that stuff so uh so you guys know what sales I'm buying from if you are interested in them things like that um okay so we'll start with these coin packs I got one two three four five six coin packs um the first is I got two coin packs if you've never seen them uh are four coins because her wax is softer I would probably just cut these in half I'm sure some people would cut them into quarters um but like I said her wax doesn't perform super well for me or it's just lighter so this is Cheshire's Grin lavender birthday cake topped with cotton candy frosting and marshmallows so light <laughs> um it's starting to like get a little bit more scent because it's been sitting here for about a week a little bit less um it's a beautiful sweet cotton candy cake scent and i'm hoping that the lavender will come out more um so i got two of those also side note um so I was being kind of careful because I just got back from being in Pennsylvania with my family that's where my parents live I live in Tennessee and it's really hot here obviously and so I didn't want anything to get delivered and so I had asked Jenny from Rose Girls to not ship my ready to ship and ship it with my pre-sale and then I just forgot about this order. And so I knew it was gonna come like the day that we left. And so you guys, why don't I do this more often? I just did like the stop on my mail and like had it delivered to the post office. And then they just delivered all of my mail the Friday that I got back. Like, why don't we do that all the time? Like, why are we constantly asking vendors to like hold our packages? I was like, duh, it worked so well. I don't. You, and it's so easy to do you like do it online you're like yes deliver it to me when I'm done 
yeah, do that if you're going out of town and it's hot and you don't think you're going to be there for your packages. Or just do it if you are like scared and you want them to like bring it on a certain day. I, I don't know why I didn't think of it. I've cer I certainly knew that was an option. So anyway, hold your mail if you are going to be out of town. I'm an idiot. Um, This was my wild card and I actually really think I like it. So there's four coins for like a light brown. This is Martha's Popcorn on the Cob. Kettle corn, vanilla butter fudge, zucchini bread, and rich vanilla cupcakes. So I'm trying to like push myself outside of my comfort zone. Kettle corn and zucchini bread are outside of my comfort zone. Kettle corn is really outside of my comfort zone. But there was like something about it that I was like, hmm, I'm gonna try that. Um, and it smells really good. Um, you definitely like don't get like kettle corn when you smell it. You get the zucchini bread first, I think. But I do like her zucchini bread. Sometimes zucchini bread can be a little corn chippy or like overly savory. And I don't really like that. I really like this. The rich vanilla cupcakes like gives it enough sweetness and everything else just makes it a little bit more interesting because there's like that little bit of savoriness from the kettle corn and the zucchini bread. This is like kind of my standout and it was my wild card where I was like, oh, I might hate it, but I'm just gonna try it. So that one's really cool. I'm excited to like warm it in a year or whenever I actually warm any of these. Um, I got a coin pack in Sweet Raspberry Jackie O. That is vanilla bean cake topped with whip, topped with whipped marshmallows and raspberry compote. I think uh, I'm finally understanding that I don't love raspberry. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I love raspberry. It comes off a little floral to me. So this is fine and I'll have no problem melting it. But I think moving forward, I'm not going to buy a lot of raspberry. Um, unless it's like in more fruity scents and not like, even then, I don't, I just don't think I'm going to buy a lot of raspberry. This coin pack is in Lavender Cream cookie monster. This is sweet, gooey lavender cream sugar cookies with buttercream frosting dipped in icy sweet milk. And her labels are really nice. They have the date here and the send description and the title. Sweet, gooey lavender cream sugar cookies with buttercream frosting dipped in icy milk. It's really light. Um, but you do get a little bit of the lavender and a little bit of the sugar cookie. That one has to sit for a really long time. It's really light. Okay. And the last coin pack is Aunt Lori's Famous Rolls. Fresh baked rolls topped with strawberry jam. These are all poured in like late May. This is May 25th. So this is like a bread and jam set um it's you don't get a lot of the rolls you get a little bit of the jam once again pretty light so this is gonna have to sit for a while but that's fine well it's not fine i hate that wax has to cure but i have enough wax it's fine okay this is the little bit more of an extreme part of the order i got five loaves <laughs> yeah i got five okay let's just Let's just not focus on that. I think when I posted to the Vintage Chic group being like, well, that got out of hand. Somebody was like, that's a lot of lows. And I was like, yes, I am aware. Um, this is Cookie Monsters Pajamas. This is sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, sugar milk. And then I think that's Cookie Monster and then the pajamas is fresh picked strawberries, marshmallow, and vanilla bean Noel, I'm pretty sure. So it's like strawberry plus cookie monster. You get the strawberry. It's an interesting strawberry. Um, and maybe the sugar pies. Okay, I'm getting the strawberry more. Hold 
yeah you're getting mostly the strawberry with like a little bit of the like sugar melting cookie um it has to sit it's light not surprising so i remember cookie monsters blends are light in general i had just cookie monster um, in the past okay this is et phone home this is the scent of sweet pumpkin, warm spices, cider, and vanilla crunch will have you loving ET with all of your heart. This is really good. And I don't have a lot of fall blends right now. And like bakery like this with her does the best for me. Like this sort of like warm cinnamony fall bakery does well. Like I'm able to use it in my open concept and I love vanilla crunch and pumpkin. So it's good. This it's you, you get the cinnamon first, which I think the rest of it will come out um, when it warms. Um, but it does have that like cinnamon crunch, pumpkin crunch cake vibe, so that's good. I'll put that was my fall wax. And then I got deep slumber. This is a pretty famous blend from her. This is pink sugar blended with lavender, vanilla, and honey. So this is a better amount. And this is kind of like exactly what I want in a bedroom out. You get sweet lavender, pink sugar, and that honey vanilla. I've never really been able to find nighttime melts like Vintage Chic does. I love her like honey and her lavender. It's really beautiful. So I'm really glad to have this and that'll be a bedtime melt for me. She has a scent called Purple Rain that has like honey, lavender, gelato in it. It's so good, but it just is so light. I can never smell it. Um, this is Hocus Pocus Buns. This is sweet bakery dough wrapped around butter, cinnamon, sugar, a, bi <laughs> a big marshmallow. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's a less cinnamony, so it does have cinnamon sugar listed, but it's less like cinnamon heavy than the ET one. Although it does still have cinnamon. Sweet bakery dough. It has butter listed, but it's not overly buttery. It's really good. So I'm excited to try and melt that this fall. I don't, I'm not gonna let this sit for a year. I mean, if it just ends up doing that because I'm doing other stuff, that's fine. But like, I'll try and melt that this fall probably. And then this is Midway Treats. So this is saltwater taffy, gooey marshmallows, and cotton candy frosting. A little bit of a wild card, especially in a loaf, but this is just like sweet cotton candy, which is kind of what I wanted. Be really nice mix with like a lemon. Yeah, this is good. Um, just like a sweet taffy. It's like sweet, 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 just sweet taffy the cotton candy um really good it, it's very nondescript like it's very just like sweet 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 okay those are the lows wow and then the last thing is the sample this is love quinn so this is blueberries and cream blueberry cobbler and cupcakes at tiffany's this is nice it's a sweet sweet blueberry scent with just a touch of bakery in it. So I'm excited to melt this. Um, this is pretty new too. 326.24. So that is my order from Vintage Chic. Just to give you an idea, if you haven't bought from her before, all of that was like just under $200. So it's expensive. Her loaves are like, I wanna say like $26 or $25. Um, don't quote me on that, but like they're high. Um, and so I'll probably just let this cure, try it out this fall. And if some of it performs well for me, then maybe I'll buy from her again. Um, maybe not, you know, who knows? Like I said, I don't ever, I don't ever say never. Um, so just a quick note on other pre-sales coming up in case you didn't hear. Wednesday, the 3rd of July, Glitterati is opening for a pre-sale. I am literally buying three loaves. That's all I'm getting. Um, and that is in, it's her carnival scent. And I can't even remember the names of them all, but um, so I'm going to get three loaves. Um, and then I just did 
a giant ready to ship with L3 from her Friday, last Friday presale that was like insanity, which I'll go over when it gets here. And then Salt Mountain is going to open on July 21st for her next presale. And I'm also going to get my Scentsy Club this month. So that's sort of my plan for this month. Um, so it's, oh, and L3 Lofa Palooza. So I already did ready to ship for L3. I'll do Lofa Palooza for L3 and Salt Mountain and Glitterati. But Glitterati will be a pretty small order. So that's sort of the plan for this month, assuming nothing else comes up. I don't think I can afford anything else coming up. Um, yeah, so tell me what you're buying, what's happening. I also, I also have my empty to film, so I'm going to do that really quickly. But uh, thanks for listening and watching, and I'll talk soon. Bye.